Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to Now Holds Barred, the channel where sometimes I talk about makeup, sometimes relevant things, sometimes electronics, but today it's makeup, obviously, by the title. It's makeup and it is my birthday haul. So a few days ago it was my 37th birthday, but let's just go with me being 27 forever. Why not? I haven't actually been here in a while. I've filmed things along the way, never really got to editing or put them up. Because, well, sometimes life just happens. And seeing how this is like my birthday haul and I kind of told you how old I am, I feel like I'm a little bit too old to really like start having a career on YouTube. I just do this for fun. So I'm really, really sorry that I haven't been here in a while. If anybody was really looking forward to anything I was going to put out. Sometimes, again, life just happens and um, just deal with it. So I'm very thankful for everybody that's here now. And yeah, if you guys want to subscribe, go ahead. I am feeling much, much better. There's a lot of things that we finally, you know, fixed in the life. So those are going to be more things coming. Hit that thumbs up if you want to see more makeup stuff. If there's other things you're curious about, leave in the comments. I'm cool with all that. But let's just talk about like what you're here for. Makeup. I do have a bunch of stuff in front of me because like I said, it's been about like a month that I've been kind of collecting things, using my birthday as an excuse to spend money. Actually, the real story was that I had saved a bunch of money because I was going to be going to a music festival that was on my birthday. And then again, life happened and things didn't work out and I didn't end up going. So that money, I just put it back into all this stuff. But there's one thing that I'm gonna talk about first and it's a brand called Mellow Cosmetics. So yes. I happen to be an ambassador for that brand, and no, I wouldn't bring it to you if it was crap, right? I've had a lot of people on the Instagram, that has changed, we'll get there in a minute. Um, a lot of people on Instagram used to reach out, ask if I want to be a brand ambassador. I'd look at it, and if it wasn't something that I would wear that I would really like, I just said no. But this brand, I tried it. Now this brand, I looked at their stuff, they're cruelty free vegan paraben free it was started in some lady's garage and it's been about four or five years now that they're out there and i just really like it so yeah let's talk about it i do have my favorites and if you've been watching instagram or whatnot you know that my favorites are their brow products like these are my eyebrows all right this is not what they look like when i wake up in the morning unless unless i still have this tinted brow gel on i'm not kidding um their brow stuff is amazing. Now this tinted brow gel. The one I have here, it isn't dark. It doesn't look that dark on the wand. But once you apply it, it really does. Because mine are dark. And I mean, I'm cheating. I mean, I'm using a lot of like this dew powder. They have like six different colors of this like double powdered color eyebrow. There's no fancy name for it. It's just duo colored eyebrow stuff. Sometimes words are really hard for me. I'm working on it. I'm trying. Um, but there's just no other way to say that it's like brow powder duo. And this is the color that I have for me. But like I said, they have like six other different iterations of the same colors. So no matter what the color your eyebrows are, you have something that will help you. This stuff is the bomb. Because like I said, I'm cheating. I don't have eyebrows there. I'm just pretending they're there. And yeah, sometimes I nap a lot because when I say life happens, in my case, I have health issues which are finally stable, whatever, it's what I have, whatever, it, it's as good as they're going to get and I most probably will be okay if I just keep maintaining things as they are. But I also have narcolepsy. Now narcolepsy is in the movies portrayed where people just like fall asleep. I don't really do that in that sense. What happens in my case is that my brain falls asleep. So my brain is in REM sleep mode. So I'm dreaming, but I'm awake. So my brain is dreaming about something and then trying to process what I'm seeing and hearing it all the same. No, no, it's hard. So I do nap a lot. There's a reason I'm telling y'all this because it's kind of pointing into what I'm trying to say, that this brow gel is like amazing. Cause yeah. Ever since I've been using this for the past two months, my brows are on point. And when I wake up from naps, my eyebrows haven't moved. Yeah. 
that's not the only thing of Mella Cosmetics that I like. I also like their matte bullet lipstick. Look how cute that is. Isn't it cute? Uh, they're very creamy. They go on really well. This is the color New York. So let's just see. Yeah. This is awesome. I love this brand. Like, I wouldn't be talking about it if I didn't love it. Because y'all can get 20% off of this brand if you want to. Just go to the link down below, put in the code MELLOW, and you get 20% off whatever you want to buy. Because yeah, these are the other shades of their bullet lipsticks. So this one's called Posh, and this one's called Nude. They look, they look amazing. I wear them so much. I don't necessarily wear this dark color all the time, just because dark colors aren't what I always wear. I do sometimes. And then another thing that I have is um, an eyeshadow palette called Treasure Chest. Hard to see. There you go. And I love this one for the shimmers. I have some of the shimmers on today. The shimmers are great. They're freaking awesome. And how I recommend for people to use this is you can just do like me, swipe your finger in it and go over your eyelid, put a nice little touch of shimmer on there. But for the most part, it's really for the ones of you out there that aren't really into like huge color who are just maybe thinking of getting like a little wash of a little bit of shimmer but they don't want to go like glam out this is where you want to go just take a nice fluffy brush go into the shimmer and then just like wash it over your eyelid it just gives it this nice little touch of sheen sheer to the color that you're already wearing so for those of you who are like afraid of color or you just don't want to look like you're going to the prom, but you just want to have a little color, this is the one for you. It's called Treasure Chest. They do have other eyeshadow palettes. Those ones just have a lot of color, and I already had color, so for me, I didn't really need that one, so I went for, like, shimmers, because, again, that's my thing. And, yeah, I am obsessed with my little cosmetics. Super happy to be a brand ambassador, and, again, if you want anything on their website, anything that they sell, go down, you can use the link below, it'll bring you right to their website, and you can use code MELLOW at checkout and get 20% off. Okay, I get it. Enough of my stupid self-promotion. Let's get into the fun stuff. Because if you follow my Instagram, I've been looking at this one for a while. And yes, my Instagram handle has changed. It's just what it was before, but with an underscore. And quick reason is sometimes... You meet people in life, and it's just not meant to be. But these days, people are just so busy. We are all just so busy with stuff that it takes a little bit longer sometimes to realize that it's just not going to work. It's just not going to happen. It wasn't easy to figure out that it just wasn't meant to be. It wasn't going to happen. But that old account was tied so much into that certain person and everything around them, as well as that person scares the living fuck out of me now. So... Close everything off, start it over brand new again, because sometimes you just have to. And I'm just thankful for everybody that is already on the new account. It's only been like two weeks. Super happy about it. Start all over again. It's not the end of the world. It's not the first time I start over again. And I don't want to get off track, so let's get to this. Because, yeah, I've been looking at this for a while. All right. Yes, there's some huge name brand makeup after this. Everything else I got at Sephora. Actually, some of it I got through Hope Look, but it is available at Sephora for a lot more money than I paid for it because since when do I pay full price for anything? Never. Um, yeah, so this was $25. I know the light changes. It's because the camera's on automatic focus and we're using natural light coming in from outside. So what's in here? Two eyeshadow palettes. And this is like a blush highlight palette and one of their hearts. Now, I've seen a lot of posts on Instagram with people that have just a whole collection of these hearts. Man, you guys are crazy. There's so many of them. This one happens to be a bronzer. Still a little bit on today. But I actually already have two before. So, Makeup Revolution or I Heart Revolution is actually really good stuff. Yeah, they kind of knock off a lot of things. But they also have things that aren't a knock off of anything. This is the peanut butter palette, and this is the red velvet palette, which we'll get to in a minute. I don't think they're knocking off anything. And if they are, I'm sorry, I've never seen it. But I bought this for a reason. 
because one, I mean, I wanted a few things, but I also have like my best friend who is really starting to get into makeup and I just want to help her out because she helps me out a lot. Again, y'all know that I don't have a car and I don't drive. And sometimes like the person that's there to help me all that stuff with errands sometimes they have things like right now, um, they had a car accident last week, so their car's not working and I'm thankful they're okay. Um, so I'm not mad that they're not around for a little bit, but my friend has a car and she does help me get around. So I wanted to give her a little bit back of what's in here, but let's just quickly take a look. And it takes like five minutes to get everything out of this plastic. <laughs> I finally got them out. I also opened the window because it was warm. It was hard to get those things out of a little heart, which is good because I did get these at Winners and Marshalls and um, people stopped stealing shit. Like seriously, it's so frustrating. Um, one, I don't understand this. Um, the Marshalls here, I love that store. It's clean. The staff is nice, polite. You can find things. And then you go like one block over because literally the winners is a block over and it's trash. Everything's everywhere. At least at Marshall's they have everything are usually like in those plastic containers so people don't have their fingers through it. But when you go to winners, people have put their fingers through everything. They've used half of them. They'll steal half of it. People stop stealing shit. Like really? It's not even that expensive. And I mean, I get it. But just try to be nice. Try to be a nice human being for everybody else rant over. Um, no, that rant will never be over because people just don't stop. So we'll just start with the heart because that's what I like the best. So this is the heart and it's like a baked thing. I have actually seen people hit pan on some of these baked things and man, you guys are freaking using this stuff. But it is a bronzer and I'd swatch it, but swatching things in this video will make this video like six hours long. So not gonna happen. If you do want swatches of stuff though, let me know below and maybe I'll just do a video where we just like swatch all the cool stuff. Um, just to say, I do have other of like the makeup revolution or it's now called I Heart Revolution because makeup revolution itself moved into their own things and the ones that just knock everything off is I Heart Revolution. But in the end, it's all the same thing. Um, so the triple baked highlighter, I have um, the Unicorn Tears, which I actually use a lot. And then I just have this one. It's a Dragon Heart in... This one I usually use as like a blush, but mostly when I'm going out or something like that. Because again, check my Instagram, because sometimes there's some events and it's fun and you might want to come. Sometimes I only realize how creepy I sound like after the fact. Um, but it's me, it's who I am. I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but that's okay because I don't drink tea. So, whatever. The first one we're going to be looking at is this one, this color here, it's called. Praline, and this is the one that I am giving to my friend because she doesn't have a lot of blush. She doesn't have a lot of a collection just in general. So what's in it is this. Um, there is a bronzer, a blush, and then there's three highlights. So you can tell I stuck my fingers in them. Um, this is a very gold highlight, and this is a very white pearl, and this is a very natural color highlight, and this is a pretty blush, and another little contour bronzer color. So. For my friend, this will work great. Considering I paid $25 for three palettes and a chocolate bronze triple baked heart or whatever the heck they're called anymore, I'm happy. But even though the rest of the makeup you're gonna see here is like, you know, from Sephora or whatever, this stuff's still good. I'm still gonna wear it. I'm trying to open it, it's not working. Okay, there you go. So this is the peanut butter palette. So it looks like this on the outside. And then when you open it up, it has these colors. Um, I love these colors. They're very fall colors. I mean, not that I usually follow trends, but maybe I'll start. Or maybe I'll just do what I've always done and just do whatever the fuck I want. There you go. So, yeah. Yeah. That's the beauty about makeup. Do whatever the hell you want with it. Makeup has no gender. It has no age. And there's no rules. You can wear whatever the heck you want whenever you want. Um, yeah. I mean, that's my opinion. Not everybody likes my opinion and that's cool that's why I don't care if people publicly follow me or not again the new Instagram I only have about like maybe 60 followers or something like that now which is pretty good considering I only had about 220 to begin with on the other one um but just because there's only that many public followers doesn't mean there's more people paying attention again sometimes I got opinions and you don't have to 
publicly be tied to my opinion to listen and watch the other content. Because even already on the Insta stories, I can't even find the accounts from that person, you know, creeping me and stuff. Because there's four times more people that are following me that actually watch the videos. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. Like, I'm super excited, super thankful that people just want to hear what I have to say. Um, but back to makeup, all right? <laughs> this is the Red Velvet palette. Looks like this on the outside. And then on the inside, it has these other neat colors. Um, I personally still think that these are fall winter colors. But again, do whatever you want. Because when you see the other colors that I have, whatever, man. It's fun. So these are the colors. These are the colors in there. So that's what was in that chocolate heart. Hi. It's actually the next day in real life. But for all of you, it's been like, 10, 15 seconds. There was someone at my door and it happened to be my best friend, the one that I'm gonna give the makeup to. And um, sometimes life happens, not just for me, it happens for everyone. And she was having a rough day. So I decided to spend time with my friend because I'm trying to work on, on myself. Um, again, I am in therapy. So for those of you who didn't know, I'm in therapy. I have a personality disorder called borderline personality disorder, and I've been working on it for about three years now, apparently quite successful. I mean, I feel much better about things, and feedback I'm getting is good, and I'm thinking, you know, if I want to have other people you know, be there for me when I need them, I have to get my head on my ass and be there for them when they need me. So, of course, she came in, and we put everything on pause, and we talked about stuff, and yes, she she's into makeup too, so... I did try filming like the second part, but it was kind of rushed and it was out of focus because my little monitor was quite small and again, I have a hard time seeing. So whether I'm wearing contacts or glasses, I am still almost legally blind no matter what. So makeup is actually sometimes really hard because my right eye, even with glasses, is legally blind. My left eye kind of compensates. So I'm doing the makeup on my left eye. but. It's what I have, and I'm going to live the best of my life that I can with what I've got. I could sit here and bitch and complain, which I kind of do of some anyway, or I can just try to do the best that I can. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to refilm this part, and since I saw, you know, me rush through it and I didn't really like it, for all of you, I didn't think that was fair. You know, my friend needed me, so I took a lot of time with my friend, and I'm just going to redo this part. Let's get into this. Now I know I had left you guys off with what was in like the big chocolate heart. And before I get into like all this like huge like name brand stuff, like I told you there was something coming in here. There's a few things that I just want to mention cause like the whole subject of winners just, just came up. And there's a few things that I just wanna share with you from winners. And one is dry shampoo. Cause this mane, pretty hard to maintain. I mean, not really but sort of, like my hair is super curly, so does kind of what it wants to do. But washing your hair every single day when you have this much kind of gets hard. I mean, I bathe, don't get me wrong. Uh, but this dry shampoo, can you see it? I get this at Winners. I'm sure you can buy it somewhere, it's like in the United States. I think it's like at Ulta, it might be. We don't have those in Canada. So this one is the mermaid scent. Like, they have... I have a bunch of like different scents. I, I don't know what the mermaids are supposed to smell like, but it smells nice. But it really seems to work really well. Like I've had other dry shampoos, trust me. It doesn't leave like white cast in your hair and it actually like kind of like leaves texture for those of you who are looking for texture as well. Um, and in my case, I don't know if texture makes a difference or not because my hair just kind of does what the heck it wants, which again, I'm fine with. <laughs> um, yeah, little side note, my hair is just like, Everything else I shaved except for just this part. This hairstyle came about three or four years ago because I've always had really long hair as an adult and I lost a lot of it to stress and anxiety because again, you don't just end up on permanent disability. Um, a lot of people think it's my choice, like I get a lot of backlash. I'm not here to try to justify anything. The papers are signed by professionals, whatever. But anxiety and uh, stress and all those things were definitely a big factor 
This look kind of art, again, I'm in therapy. I'm learning how to deal with it. The other thing that I have found at Winners, kind of scared to say it because I don't want them to clue in on how much of a deal we're actually getting. So knowing your brands, knowing your product helps a little bit when you go to Winners because sometimes things just aren't in the box like this. It wasn't in a box. Now this was $9.99 at Winners and Marshalls. I knew that it was worth more than $9.99, but I hadn't actually looked it up. So I used about half of it. I looked it up. It's $165 Canadian. What? I was like, what? So I always keep trying to look for this. And when I was out with my friend the other day on my birthday, we were hanging out. I saw this thing. Same brand. Look. Look at the detail. Like there's like lace around it, and it's a it's a pretty big jar. It's got 200 milliliters in it. I knew this was more than the 16 dollars that it was on sale. Therefore, because I had gotten this one, this one before. It's the same brand. I didn't like look it up quickly in the stores, and I could only find the 50 milliliter. And the 50 milliliter was like 70 dollars US. So I knew this was it. Another thing, I really love this skincare. I just turned 37, and apparently I don't look my age. So I don't know. I mean, I'm not good with age stuff, but those are the comments I get back. So maybe this is what's helping me. I don't know. But when I came home and I looked it up, $280 Canadian. I mean, I don't know what's in here that's supposed to be cost that much, but it works really freaking good. And I got it at Winners for $16.99. Like, it's even like lace around it, man. So for those of you who are wondering, it is Elizabeth Grant's Collagen Reinforced 3D with Teresalum. I don't know what that is, but it freaking works. And the other one here is also Elizabeth Grant Collagen Reinforced with Teresalum Advanced Triple Strength Miracle Concentrate. Now, I don't know what any of those things mean. I just know that this shit works. So don't go tattletailing on winners that, that they have products that are like underpricing because I'm just going to jack the prices up. And the whole point of Winners and Marshall finds is that you're finding shit at prices you can afford. Like this next thing. Now, this one. Hmm. This is a like Tarte Pro palette, but it's nothing but like highlight. So there is four highlights on the top and then a cream and a just regular bronzer on the bottom. Now, again, I got this at Winners for 20 bucks. Now, $20 for like four highlights and two contours, even for me, is a little bit expensive. But this is $59 at Sephora right now. $59? What the heck? Because, yes, yesterday I tried to film this part. It was out of focus and whatnot. My friend was here. And I asked her opinion. Like, do you think that four highlight colors and two whatever is worth that much? She's like, no. And to be honest, neither do I. Like, I got it for $20. I'm very happy with $20. And I mean, I use it a lot. I usually use these ones. I mean, I've never really used them. I kind of touch those. It's great. It works amazing. It comes out as you know, the most natural looking highlight. But for $69? For highlights? Sorry, $59. Whatever. When we're talking that kind of price for something that's just four little things, I personally think that's ridiculous. And that's just my opinion, okay? And yes, I own it, but I own it because I bought it at 20 bucks at Winners. So, let's get into the other stuff, the birthday stuff that I like purposely ordered for my birthday. Like I said before, I kind of had some money put aside. So I kind of had a little bit more money to like dip into to get things. And you know, my birthday is my excuse, but I wanted like pro palettes. I wanted something that wasn't on sale at Winners. Even though the other thing was on sale at Winners, you know, that's not the point of my story. The point of my story is I just decided to treat myself. And there's a few things that I want, but sometimes, again, I find the prices to be crazy. So I went and looked on Holt Look. Now, Holt Look is Nordstrom Rack, and I've been buying from Holt Look for like 10 years. So never a problem. I had a little bit this time. Eventually, I just called. It had been like weeks and weeks, not months. Well, maybe like a month. It's been a long time and I didn't know where anything was. There wasn't tracking. So I called and just asked if they had like a different tracking number. 
and um, they didn't have one and they couldn't see that it had been going anywhere. They didn't know where it was. So they assumed that it was just lost in the mail and they didn't refund me the money. Um, but I eventually did get it. It came in the mail. Because Canada Post freaking sucks. Again, I have opinions on things and that's why people don't have to publicly follow anything I do. Because you might not want to be tied to those opinions, but I'm still going to give them up anyway. And sometimes I get a lot of inboxes and they're like, thanks for freaking saying that. Because about time someone said something. But they just don't want to be the one saying it because there's a lot of repercussions. So that's cool. Canada Post, well, the people who are the feet on the ground, they actually work really, really hard. Um, I have the phone numbers to the distribution center here. Like every time I call, I call them sometimes, like quite often, <laughs> depending on like what I'm waiting for because sometimes it just kind of gets lost. But back to the point. I found this Tarte Pro Palette as well as this blush thing. I mean, I'm in love with this thing. One, it's glitter. Two, there's blush and highlight in there. And you can use it as a purse. Like, not that I would, but it's so fucking cute. Like I said, I found them on Hope Look. I do check sporadically what's on Hope Look. Sometimes those great deals, sometimes not so much. But it also really depends just like what you're into. Because they don't just have makeup on Hope Look. They have clothes, they have shoes, they have jewelry. And sometimes they're like really high name brands. Sometimes it's name brands you've actually never heard of, but then give it a chance and you're like, oh, discover something new. But they had a lot of tart, you know, about the month before my birthday. I was like, I'm gonna get myself this. So yeah, this is a Tarte Pro Palette and it is the Amazonian Clay Pro Palette. And there's a special reason that I wanted this because it's got color in it. Can you see it? Because yesterday, this was the problem my friend was here. I could not get the camera to focus without the color messing up so you can see the colors. So there you go, now you can see them. When you see all the colors I got from like the other Morphe palettes, you'll understand why I'm talking about this one. So it has color in it, like you can tell. And they're all around like mauve purple colors, which is great. Colors that I love to wear, that look good on me. But they're not like in your face bright colors. They're kind of like pastel dark colors. I think in the makeup world they call it muted. I don't know, I'm not professional. I'm just looking at stuff that I like. But they do have, let's see if I can bring it closer and you can see. The light just keeps changing, isn't that fun? Um, I hope you can see the colors from there. I will put in a picture right now. So those are the colors. And right here are four shimmers and these are all mattes. Well, let me tell you, this stuff is the bomb. It's why I wanted it, even though it's kind of colors that I might be able to find somewhere else. It's just the quality that I want. What can I say? Tarte actually has a really good quality when it comes to their eyeshadows. I and mean, a lot of places have great quality. But the Amazonian clay shadows, I'm gonna have a few in smaller palettes. And I love how they blend together so easily. Like if you mix a lot of like a red into a purple, it comes up with like another beautiful shade of purple that, you know, isn't in the palette. So you can kind of like make up your own colors, which is part of the fun of makeup. That said, I mean, I have a lot of other great palettes, but not all of them, the colors don't always like mix together and that's just quality. I mean, again, I just showed you some Makeup Revolution or I Heart Revolution palettes that I'm gonna love. Do they mix together well like that? I don't know, actually, I've never really tried. They might, I'll let you know if you wanna know. If you wanna know if the I Heart Revolution ones blend together and create new colors, just like the Tarte one does, let me know in the comments, I'll just on that later. But this next one, this, again, the good one. This is the one that I had my eyes on. And I've been looking at it for a while because last year, a friend of mine got the same concept, the same idea that it had like a little bit of different shades. And when I say last year, it was also like the two years ago Christmas holiday thing. Because my friend also shops on Holook and she got it there. The reason I know that this was like last year's Christmas collection holiday set, whatever you want to call it, is because it came in this box. Recognize these things? Pay attention, there's going to be a test. Um, see these? Again, if you watch my Insta stories, you will know where I'm going. If not, you're going to know in three seconds. So I did buy a few things from Tarte last year, and this is one of like the little hydrating lipsticks. So they match. Now, am I mad at that? Hell no. This stuff's the bomb. It works amazing. And it's powder. It's not really going to go bad. I mean, powder does go bad eventually, but 
not like a liquid or anything like that. So let's take a look at this because it's awesome. I mean, first of all, look at these. Look at that. Just the packaging in my world is like beyond. Besides the fact that it has a lot of like blushes and stuff like that. Because the Amazonian clay blush formula is my favorite blush formula. I have a few of them. Mostly in like smaller sizes because I kind of got them through like makeup subscriptions. But I love the formula. It's very well packed and you can just like dig in there and have a good time. And I have it upside down but that's okay. Um, you can just dig into it. Don't have to worry that you're like over applying the blush on your face because sometimes, oh, example, I have Makeup Geek right here. It's this Makeup Geek blush. I love the color. It's great. It's called XOXO, but it's like super bright. I have to use a dual fiber brush in order to make sure that I don't like go and have like a big like spot where I look like a clown. But when it comes to the Tarte Amazonian Clay formula, it's very well packed in there. And you can just kind of like go for it. The chance of you like ruining your makeup look by putting too much blush with this formula is a little bit lower. Okay, a lot lower than with other things. So yeah, I really wanted this. One, you can use this just like as a purse because everything comes out. So there's like places there and you can actually take this out. And then you can just use this like as a clutch. Like you want to go to a party, like here you go. So this is what's in it. So there is three blushes, so like a lighter color. This is more of like a brownish pink, but and then this one's like quite popping. This one here is a highlight and this is like a bronzer. Um, hello, this is great. This color is mostly what I have on my face right now. But it doesn't come out as like that pink flamingo color. Oh, it's called Pool Float. Flamingo is this one. But it doesn't like, I mean, I have blush on. I have a hard time. I never put enough blush on my face and I kind of look weird, but I'm working on it. And with this new formula, I'm really going to get somewhere. And I decided to try Sandy Cheeks, which is the highlight in here. You see a little bit of glitter? So I tried it like on top of everything at the end, kind of like pop of college to see what it was going to do on top of the other Tarte highlighter that I had on my face. I love it. It looks really, really great. I'm super happy with all of this. And I like keeping them together like this, but I mean, you can do whatever the heck you want. Again, makeup is whatever the heck you want to do with it. Again, there's no rules, so nothing. And yes, I put things away as I'm done talking about them, because that's just me and I'm weird like that, so. Yeah, it's closed. But ain't this so cute. All right, the siren seemed to have shut up. Probably only for like 10 minutes because that's what happens when you live downtown in a big city, which isn't that big, but whatever, not the point. Point is, let's talk price about this stuff because the whole point of everything here is do I ever pay full price for anything? No. Well, Morphe palettes I did, but they're coming up. So, prices for this. This Pro palette you just saw, the Tardiest Pro Amazonian Clay Pro Eyeshadow Palette, whatever the hell long this stupid thing is, um, for all of these colors is $65 at Sephora right now, currently. If I walked into Sephora, I would pay $65 plus tax for this. On Holt Look, that's what I paid for. A lot less. I'm not going to disclose all their tricks and trades, but again. <sighs> this clutch here with all the glitter and all the beautiful blushes, this when I checked yesterday, was still on sale on the Tarte website for $40 American. Now, this is $65 Canadian, and this is $40 American, which is pretty much 65 bucks each. So that's like $130. No. When I checked out on Hot Look, or Nordstrom Rack, whatever you want to call it, came down to $78. So definitely saved some money. Very happy that I got it from them. Again, I offered to pay them back when I got it back, but they're very nice. So like, no, no, it's been done. Enjoy it. So I definitely am. So with that refund, I was like, well, that's money that I've kind of already spent somewhere. And I was like, well, I want like professional palettes. So I decided to go to Sephora. 
All right. Can you hear the neighbors again? And again, anybody who watches my Instagram stories, you know the whole situation, how I can hear everything my neighbors do upstairs. So It's called apartment living. I don't think they realize that their floor is my ceiling. And anyway, so I went to Sephora because I knew that there was going to be like birthday gifts that you get when you're signed up in like the VIB or whatever the heck it is called for their you know beauty rewards. Whenever you buy makeup products or any other kind of products, actually anything, if you have the chance to sign up for like rewards, go for it. Accumulating rewards just kind of comes with you buying things naturally. And then eventually you get to cash in the rewards for something for free. Now some places what you get to cash them in for are really, you know, blah. But sometimes they're really cool. Now, I went to Sephora to look for a specific item, which is the Becca Hydromist setting powder. But we're going to talk about the gift that I got. I decided to pick the Kat Von D gift. So I'm in again. If you don't like her or whatever the heck you want, I don't care. I don't want to hear about it. Because in my house, make brands get along. So, for my gift, I got this Locket Setting Powder. Cat one, it's just a little one. I use it. I like it. I don't think I'll buy, like, the bigger version of it, though. In some studded kiss lipstick samples. I already have a few of the studded kiss lipsticks, so I love it. But I do like these darker colors, like, mostly, like, this red. I don't actually have, like, bright red lipstick, so maybe someday I want to be, like, seductive or something, and I'll just wear some red. But the thing I did really like was this tattoo eyeliner that came in it. This might come as a shock to some people, but I have never actually tried a Kat Von D eyeliner before in my life. I've heard so many good things about it that I've never actually tried it. Then I tried this one, like the tattoo liner. Yeah, I get the whole thing now. I get it. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this one in like the bigger form when this one wears out. And it also happens to be a brush tip. Is it going to focus? Can you see what that means? Yeah, this stuff is amazing. Mostly for me because I have a hard time seeing. The brush tip, it doesn't give you like a band of color as soon as you, you touch it compared to like a felt tip. So for me that has a hard time seeing because I gotta put eyeliner on when my eyes are still kind of open so I can see what I'm doing. This stuff works amazing and it's waterproof. And again, I have problems with my eyes. I need waterproof stuff around my eyes. So super happy about the gift. No complaints there. But let's talk about like this Becca powder. Now this is the Becca Hydrating Mist Set and Refresh, whatever. I've been hearing all the like, YouTube people talking about it. It comes like this, and shiny. This is like the smaller size. It's not like a sample size, it's just like a mini size. And I'm super impressed by this. Like, again, the video that I had yesterday, my friend was here and she like touched the powder and it's, one, it's really finely milled, but like everybody says, you can't even describe how it feels. It's like a moist powder. I know y'all hate that word. I don't give a shit about that word, but a lot of people don't like it. Uh, but the gist of everything is that, one, this has been around a lot longer than people are talking about it. I have heard people talk about it when it first came out, and that was like maybe a year ago. People are just kind of getting on the bandwagon now, maybe because there's just so many products for people to test, they're only kind of getting around to it. But man, does it blur things. It works amazing, because that's the whole point of the powder. Thanks for the car that likes to sound like it's really loud. The whole point of this powder is just to, like blur lines, set things, make you look like you don't have all like the skin issues. And this shit works amazing. So yeah, I'm going to repurchase this, but like I said to my friend yesterday when she was here, I don't know if I'm gonna get the full size. I think I'm just always gonna stick with the mini size because the powder is, you know, hydro something. So there is like moisture within the powder. And I'm kind of scared if I buy a bigger one that it would dry out. And I'm not sure if that hydrating part of the powder is what the magic is. But I also have a lot of other like setting powders. So for me to get through like a small one is going to take long enough anyway. So that's what we're going to do with that. And now let's get into the last thing I bought there, which was a Morphe palette. Yesterday, again, my friend was here and she's still starting to get into makeup, which is why, you know, want to help her out with that because I get a lot of stuff and sometimes I have too much of the same thing or whatever so I just share the wealth but she looks at me and she's like you know what I was on the Sephora website and do you know how expensive the Morphe palettes are and I'm like yeah girl I know they're $32 
they really are full price of $32 and she just goes like wow like how and I'm like that just proves how overpriced a lot of other stuff is insert Jeffree Star Shane Dawson docuseries in here um again I love how they actually exposed or were truthful about everything but that's for another day so I decided to go to Sephora on my own because again I wanted that pecker powder and I knew there was going to be a free gift. And I was like, you know what? I already spent like this money. So now it's just like free money kind of. Because my bills are paid. Everything's done. Don't worry about it. And I just love Morphe palettes. Because I'm going to show you the one that I have from last year. That's the 35M Boss Mood. And I use it all the time. But getting to the store isn't that hard. The mall is not that far. I actually walked there. But I have anxiety issues. Again, anxiety is something that I've been fighting my entire life and I work on it and a lot of people ask me, how do you do that? Because my diagnosis is technically agoraphobic, which means I am afraid of leaving my house. I'm afraid of open spaces and outside. The way to work on it is just to go out there and freaking do it. I know, sounds weird. Trust me, when I first started getting help with everything, I was like, you want me to do what? And they're like, just fucking do it, okay? And I sucked it up and I started doing it, even though therapy sounds weird as fuck. But therapy has actually been around longer than medication has for like mental health issues. So there's a method to that madness and, and no matter how stupid you think it is, it works. For me, the only way to stop anxiety from overtaking my life like it did before is to just go out there and practice. So again, I have someone that helps me with errands and stuff like that. Sometimes I don't have any errands. I just go to stores and kind of panic, but the person's right there, so you know, it's all right. So I thought I was good enough to go to Sephora on my own. No, getting there again wasn't that hard. I just walked down the street, had my headphones in my ear, just listened off to some music, and then I got into the store and oh, everything was just Good thing I knew what I wanted, because again, I, I don't go there very often, but most of the items that they sell in Sephora, I usually find them at Winners for less money, except for Morphe palettes, so let's get to it. I did pick up the 35H Hotspot palette. And these are the colors in there. Oh, I don't know if you can pick up like how bright some of these are. Like, probably not. There's no sunshine outside and I'm trying to rush this through before it starts raining and we have like no light at all. Because again, I'm working with the light from outside. But these colors, you can tell I swatched a few of them. Actually, I've used a few of them. I'm actually wearing like a few on my eyes today uh, in conjunction with that Tarte palette you just saw. But these are beautiful colors, and you can do so much with them. Now, again, I'm just gonna show you the one that I had last year because for $32, these things are amazing. Like, I use this 35 Emboss Mood Palette a lot, and I'm definitely getting my money's worth. Can you see that? Like, I have, like, really dug into some of them. I've used some of them a lot. I've actually dropped this palette at one point in time, and it survived. So, yeah, if I'm getting this much use, already and have a lot of use left with this $32 palette. Um, was I afraid to spend $32 on another one that had like great colors and obviously the same quality. I mean, hopefully. <laughs> yes, I mean, and there's one thing Morphe is, it's consistent. Um, we're not going to talk about those other palettes that belong to other people, but when I was looking at this one, I did look at the Morphe Jeffree Star palette because I thought I might want to get that one. But I only really like the two bottom rows, and I thought it was $30 because in the United States it is, but in Canada it's the only one that the price is different. Because most of these Morphe palettes of this size are $30 in the United States and just $32 in Canada. But the Jeffree Star palette, I mean, it's a special one, obviously. It's $47 in Canada instead of the $30. But I looked at it, and I like the two bottom rows colors, but... But the quality just wasn't Jeffree Star Cosmetics quality. And I'd just rather buy like Jeffree Star's own palettes if I want those colors and whatnot. So I just went with this one. So like no shame, no shade. Very happy with what I got. These colors. I haven't played with all of them. I haven't swatched all of them. I just know that compared to the 35M Boss Mood over here. See that? This one has a lot of shimmers in it, but does it really have like a glitter shadow? Because this one has some glitter shadows, like in the green and the purples. Like you can see that, can you see they're bigger? The granules or whatever you want to call it. And in this one, there's only one. And it'd be that one right there. Everything else is just shimmers. But I mean, 
They're beautiful shimmers. I get no complaints about anything. And I'm super happy because I've used it a few times and it looks great. And I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. Seeing that I got a lot of use on the other one. So, that's it. That is my entire birthday excuse makeup haul. It's been a long time since I've been here. A lot of people seem to like the makeup. So, thumbs this up if that's what you like. If you want to see more makeup, let me know. If you want to hear or know anything else, again, let me know in the comments down there. You can subscribe if you want to. But if you don't want to, I'm so cool. You don't have to publicly subscribe to anything. You want to come back and watch all this stuff? Please do. I have a few things in the works again. Life was happening and didn't have time to film. But I actually have a bunch of NYX products that I've been testing over the past two months. And that's something that's going to be coming up soon. So they're my favorite NYX products because I've been trying them out. So that's coming again. If you want to have more of this kind of content, like let me know if you want to have content of a different kind because I have all sorts of things on this channel. You can let me know. So with that, I mean, do whatever you want. That's the whole point. Do whatever you want. Do what you want with makeup. Do what you want with your life. As long as no one's getting hurt, everybody's consenting, I don't care. Do what you want. Be happy. And with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great rest of the week.